explaining about um, what Robert and I are going through infertility wise. We're gonna make a baby today! It is January 6th. So the sperm is up in there now, it has to go left and right. It's over. It's over. Hopefully, the IUI worked. So, negative. I just feel like because we're going through this hard time and we're having such a difficult time getting pregnant, that when we do have our baby, I'm just gonna appreciate that time that much more. So, it is February 4th, I believe, 2016. Bye bye. Bug. You're crazy. It'll be good genes for my kids to have, right? Just kind of tip forward a little bit there. I'm going to put spike mill probably straighten out a little bit. Right there at the tip top. That's our sperm. Hey guys, so we just left Whole Foods. I was trying to find bromelain. Bromelain is supposed to help with implantation. But I'm laying down in the car. Just going to keep laying down. Um, and we are off to my acupuncture appointment. You know, and I understand how it feels. It's really hard for me sometimes. I love children. I always have loved children and I love caring for them. I notice I can't really go to festivals anymore, like family festivals. It's really hard for me to be around that because there's just so many babies and young families. It's it's really difficult for me, and it um, I get very emotional and I um, I get very depressed. There are no bubbles and no particles, so that's good. Are you gonna be okay? Yeah. Should you sit down first? All right, well, when you get the needle ready, let me do it, okay? No. What? You, you gotta use Wait. two hands. Is it gonna don't, hurt? Don't, like, jab it in. <laughs> okay, you're not doing it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys Stop and girls, we're here to make a baby! Guess what today is, guys? What's today? Today is the day we met five years ago. That's so Isn't crazy. that crazy? That's so crazy. Oh, yeah. Are you gonna keep your feet warm? Fuzzy socks and slippers. And fuzzy slippers. Warm feet, warm uterus. We're in the two week waiting period, right? There's a little bit of bleeding. Well, it doesn't stop. And now she's upset and she's afraid her period came. I hate it because there's this thing that I cannot control that's upset my wife that just, oh, it makes me so mad because there's nothing I can do about it. I know, like since I was 12 years old, I had two goals in life, to be a good dad and to be a good husband. But I know that our time is coming and that we will um, have a baby. The Bible says that God will give us the, the desires of our heart. And I truly believe that. I do believe that he would not have given me this strong desire to be a mom if he were not going to make me a mom. <laughs> we probably just had the best phone call of our entire life. I got a, a voicemail on my phone, um, someone that works at our fertility clinic, and she just said, hey, give me a call back. Um, you've been on our thoughts, and I would like to try to help you out with a cycle. <laughs> Happy birthday, me. Happy birthday to you. She looked very comfy. Mm-hmm. Styling and profiling. And what's your shirt say? Pollock be gone. Pollock be gone. Get out of here. What do you guys think? Ready to go. Night. Mwah. Good luck. Love you. Did you feel fun? That's what it looked like, kind of. Yeah. So I had to just unroof it enough that I thought I'd kind of right. disturb the endometrium thing. more than right, right, right. Mm -hmm. right. So no big deal. Can we get you copy? A lot of places freeze and don't even do much fresh mm -hmm. transfers. We do because we still do very well with them, mm -hmm. but the success rate should be very similar. Some people leave even better. Good morning and welcome to today's vlog. Today's vlog is the day. It is the day that you have all been waiting for. We're doing our transfer today. And we're super, super excited. I got my Hope shirt on. Kaylin's got an embryo on board shirt on. You're like a Ferris wheel, so 
So? Yeah. Is that good? Is that a good surprise? <laughs> Can you see it? Uh -huh. I'm happy to be here and represent the practice and uh, we're excited for uh, you guys, uh, Robert and Kayla. And, um, it's going to be exciting to see a boy or a girl. I don't yeah. know. It's three, two, one. Guys, they're sending us to the ER right now. So here we go. Okay guys, it's time. They just came in and said that she's got to come out tonight. It is March 7th, 2018. We're doing a C-section. So my blood work did not come back good from um, later or earlier tonight. So um, they're just worried about my kidneys. And she said that with it, how much it changed in that short amount of time, that she's afraid that if we let it go another eight hours, like tomorrow morning, that it would be a lot worse, so. And start causing kidney failure? Yeah, start causing permanent kidney damage, which we don't want for me. So, um, yeah, we'll go in tonight. And here's her photos over here. This is her today. And the doctor said that she is 100% okay. Here we go. Hey, hey, dude. We're excited. Oh, blah, blah. You should have stayed blah, a little bit longer, there. but. I'm excited. Well, I got to a teenager. Oh, here it goes. All right, Magnolia, um, you're coming, and you're coming tonight. And this is just, it's crazy, but I'm so excited to meet you. And if that's not crazy enough, the crazier part, or the most crazy part, is I'm gonna be your dad. If that's not scary, I don't know what is. But hey, it fits, kind of. Well, I mean, I got it all. doing the season. I'm the right? one doing it. Yeah. And awesome. we're gonna meet the sweet baby girl very soon. Awesome. She 
comes out, should I expect to hear her cry at all because she's too small? Maybe not. She's a good size. She's a good size. Does she have hair? Um, she looks dark. Good. I want her to have dark hair. We can lower or raise the table a little bit. Okay. You did good, baby. You did good. Yeah, she can hear. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> That's fantastic. Her lungs work. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know about that yet. I don't. I don't know yet. <laughs> she does a little like you or me. She's so dark. <laughs> mm. She's got a lot of stuff on her. Are they gonna do that while I'm in here? No, usually they want us to like. She just has a mask right now to help her breathe. She just has a mask right now to help her breathe, love book. Yeah. They just told us she was born at 11 p.m. on the dock. That's cool. Isn't that cool? I'll be easy to remember. <laughs> okay. Did you hear that, babe? They're doing a tube to help her breathe. <laughs> she didn't like it. <laughs> yeah. She's breathing on her own, but her oxygen is low. So it's okay. giving her some extra help. Once they finish that, they'll let okay. her see her again. Okay. It's pretty quick. They'll be done here in a minute. She's a cutie. What's her name? <laughs> Magnolia. Magnolia. Magnolia Snow. Oh, so she's just forgetting to breathe. Part of that is probably because of some of the meds that mom's on. Um, so this breathing tube will help with that, obviously. Can I give her So far, she looks good. Oh. Just have her all covered up to keep her warm. Yeah. Okay. She's perfect. Mm -hmm. These cute little fingers. Yeah, I can't my fingers with all my toes. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Do we want to wrap her up? I guess she'll. Wow. Look, Mom. Mom, I'm going to give you one quick show, okay? Take good care of her, okay? All right. Dad, you coming with us? You want me to stay here? I can no, stay here. Um, okay. You guys will be back. Okay. Mm -hmm.
So, as the doc, as the doc who delivered, what do you think? I think she's beautiful. Yeah. She's a pretty girl. Pretty girl. So, I can't wait to see what this pretty girl does. She said she had a, what a, pretty, pl not, no, the placenta was done. She had a cuterus. Cuterus, cuterus. yeah. <laughs> we are out of surgery. Kaylin did fantastic, guys. So good. She's over here ready to pass out. It is 1.15 a.m. And we're about to go see Magnolia. They actually um, actually pulled some breast milk out of her and was able to feed Magnolia that way. So that's so awesome. What do you say? I'm just really happy. Yeah. She did so good, didn't she? And you did good too. Yeah. I'm just... I know that some people, when they expect to deliver one way and they end up delivering another way, they're disappointed in themselves, but... Honestly, I'm just happy that she's healthy. Yeah. We're gonna try to document this time because I would love for our child that we do have um, to be able to see, you know, what, what we did and what we had to go through in order to get them here. Wow.